Hey Fit Fam, it's Coach Rock from Team Flex. Today we're gonna talk about the Bikini Pro at the Dallas Pro. Just went down this past weekend. We got a lot of our uh, all-star top five bikini competitors in the mix. We're gonna talk about the placings, talk about the criteria, and talk about why they landed the way they did and what it means for you as a bikini competitor out there, somebody interested in competing, or if you just like this sport and you wanna follow along with what we're talking about on this channel, that's exactly what I do all the time. Bring more attention to women's bodybuilding. Uh, so if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel and you give me a thumbs up anytime you can because it does help the algorithm say, hey, you know what? We do like bikini compares. We do like wellness compares. We want more of that content on YouTube, okay? So let's take a look here. Uh, first things first, what we got is our lineup of uh, athletes here. We have Kate taking the win we've talked about kate a lot recently um she was in some lower placings she's taking the win here huge uh win for her over ashley k ashley another one we have taken a lot of talk a lot of time to talk about ashley k's journey here she's taking second place and then we got rena over here in third so you can tell really already there's a lot of similarities in the physiques, but also clearly a lot of differences. Everything we always talk about in bikini is hourglass, by the way, and you know that if you've been here with me a while. Everything is about symmetry up, down, left, and right, and you'll see that presented well on all these athletes. Nobody in this lineup is not going to have the hourglass shape, and that comes from the base of muscles you know, that taper into the waist and come back out in the glutes, the lower body the hamstrings, the quads, everything has to match. And you've really got to factor in that the lower body muscle does need to match the upper body muscle and left to right, it's all got to match. It's a very hard to attain look really is the way to put it. You know, it's not, when bikini started, they talked about it being like a bikini body that you'd see on any beach. It is nowhere near that today. This is a lot of work to get here, uh, ladies. So here's what we're looking at. Um, Kate has come in and really just perfected her look. She's got a lot of good shoulder you know, development here that really creates that first width. Nice lat piece here. We don't talk about lats a lot in bikini, but you know, the lat can be very useful to actually sweep into the waist a little bit more. It creates a little bit more of a dramatic tapered look, and I think her lat really does accentuate that look and helps her a lot there nicely. Her midsection, very small narrow, tiny here. This is what you want to see. This is what creates, again, that upper piece of the hourglass shape. Now, lower body, she's looking very on point symmetry wise, really good upper glute development, good overall glute development, and it matches very nicely with the uh, hamstrings and the quads. This symmetry here in the lower body, matching the upper body perfectly, it's a slam dunk for her look. And really, she, you know, she brought just the right level of condition in where we can see these soft lines, um, you know, in the abdominals and into the side glute here, even down in the the leg but we're not seeing deep cuts striations graininess anything as if she was too lean and obviously she's not too soft in the sense where we're not seeing those things now looking over here at Ashley so Ashley has obviously been running the pro circuit won a lot of events this season and continued to do so here coming in second at this event um, to Kate and they've actually been competing back and forth at some other competitions together so Really uh, cool to see, you know, Kate be able to come up and get first here. And Ashley's in second again, placing top. Very great, you know, placing for Ashley yet again. And she's just really running this pro circuit. Um, not too much to talk about here with her as we've already gone over her physique a ton on this channel go watch my other videos but you know she's very symmetrical she's got really good shape this is one of her best looks of the season however i think what made the difference on the stage this day was that she looked a little bit too filled out maybe you know a little bit more um you know full gets a little bit more of that muscle look and that could be a factor where kate you know really has like even though they're on par muscle wise on par conditioning wise kate does have the effect where it looks a little bit more compacted on her frame and i think that that became a factor here in the judging and the scoring at this event where Ashley maybe looks a little bit, you know, too filled out at this point, too much muscle, and that could do that. And, you know, this is with peak week and things like this, you can easily do stuff like that, you guys. You can easily shift, you know, your look show to show. She's done a lot of competitions back to back. So, you know, for her to come in here and again, pull off that, very exciting. And looking over here at Rena, great physique overall, good shoulder development, nice taper. Uh, you know, it kind of her posing in this shot, at least, makes her lower body look a little bit, 
you know, more dominant. And I think that's really seen pretty widely in a lot of her things. So a little bit of symmetry here might help adding a little bit more size up top or downsizing the lower body. But shape is all there. Conditioning is all there. Very good, you know, physique. And keep in mind, when we're talking about the top five on this channel, when we're talking about the pro leagues, we're talking about all great examples of the criteria, just different ways that they landed with placings and why that could be. Um, now looking from the back, I always talk about bikini being one from the back and here it is yet again, very clearly, you can see the similarities and also the differences. So Kate's look overall, good hourglass shape. We see it all there. It's perfect symmetry, nice match. She really nailed her condition here compared to some prior events. Like she filled out her glutes just enough and really pulled through the condition that tie in just enough to really showcase a very symmetrical, very conditioned, very muscular to the base of bikini type of physique. So very, very good presentation for her um, and that's obviously you know how she comes out with the win and then we look at Ashley here again very awesome physique she's pulled it all together this season a lot and the hourglass shape is there uh, upper body matches the lower body everything's good this is where I mean she may look just a tad you know too filled out at this point um, at this competition and hence why maybe she could have gotten into second over uh, under Kate in other words at this situation and I think it's because again maybe just a little bit too filled out for this competition that's something that can easily change week to week you know she could shift that look any which way she wants depending on how she wants to peak now looking over here at Rena um, what we see is you know it's a little interesting in the front post her uh, lower body looked very dominant in her back pose. Her upper body looks a little bit too dominant to me. So I think for her, realistically, it's just working on more upper and lower balance, get a little bit more of that upper glute, a little bit more of the overall glute, and really just kind of pull that all together. And, you know, that front pose dominance really in the lower body, maybe coming mostly from the quads at that point and something to look at. Now, let's look at Kate uh, again, our winner here compared to now our fourth and our fifth place at this competition. So we have Jessica right here, um, and then we have Jordan over here, okay? So fourth and fifth coming in respectively in these placings, still great examples of criteria, but what is different? Let's talk about how those lower placings in this call out the you know the top five really look so looking at Jessica she's got a really good shape everything ties in here overall good shoulder width nice taper lower body looks great everything is here you know from this and pose this angle very great on point everything is there very symmetrical nice balance maybe a tad could be a, just a tad more conditioned and at the pro leagues you better believe those little bits of things are coming down to serious placings on stage um, so we'll see when we get to the back here what the real story becomes because that's usually what we always see when we get there but looking over here at Jordan um, Jordan looks a little bit too maybe just a tad too lean to me right like right out the gate we can see a lot more line a lot more um, glute line quad line a little bit you know just a little bit more you can start to see ribs coming in here a little bit more of that leaner look in her physique which you know is not necessarily bad but depends on the lineup and what the judges want to go for that day really where that could be a little bit too lean for the criteria here. Also, I think she might have a little bit of imbalance going on with her lower body uh, compared to her upper body. Let's look from the back and we will see that more. So here, when we go to the back, again, why it's really important to always consider how your front pose looks and how your back pose looks is because it always will look different and judges are going to score you in the same ways. They're still looking for that muscle balance. They're still looking for that symmetry. They're still looking for that proportion. They're still looking for that conditioning. And that's, you know, you can look great in a front pose and off in the back pose you can look off off in the front pose great in the back pose right like so it just really depends you want to be best in all poses and that's how you're gonna really do your best on stage so looking over here at jessica um you know it looks to me obviously that she needs a little bit more glute work a little bit more upper glute overall glute really is gonna give her that 3d effect her quads and her hamstrings really overpower it just a little bit in this back pose it's not as symmetrical as when we look over here at kate right and that's a huge factor and then looking over at Jordan, a little bit of the opposite effect. Um, Jordan, you know, she's very muscular up top, uh, but her glutes are still so developed, so dominant, that it's a really dominant shot for her here. It almost starts to bleed into like a wellness look for me in a way because we're getting a little bit of that quad sweep. We got really big glute development, uh, you know, a lot of three-dimensionality to the glute here, which is not bad things. But again, when you start to push that muscularity and that condition look, for bikini you start to say okay well maybe wellness right like that's really where it goes so her placing top five here could be an indicator a little bit too dominant in the lower body not as symmetrical when you look at her compared to kate it's definitely clear differences right and so that's definitely a factor to bring into your uh, approach to your prep your coaching your off season your improvement season the most symmetrical most compacted the most tapered look 
the best balance of muscle, the hourglass shape is going to win 100% of the time. On any level, you don't need to be a pro league or look like these athletes to compete. If you are doing your first competition, the same criteria will be judged with you. It doesn't mean you need to look like these athletes, but you do want to know the basics of how you should look. And that's what I aim to do on this channel. So um, I'm going to cover a lot more events. You guys comment the ones you want me to cover. I'm trying to hit everything that I can. Um, you know, if there's any in specific areas of the world or other things you want me to do, drop them down in the comments and I'll go over it. And we'll do, you know, in-depth analysis of those and give you the stuff that you need to know to do your best on stage. And apparently today, I've done too many videos because I can't talk no more. All right, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Coach Rye is out. Thank you.